Hi, Ross Guthrie here from 3Cubed. Just wanted to walk you through the very cool Outlook integration to Goldmine. So here we actually have Outlook 2013 as you can see. Uh, it's set up to be linked to, uh, to Goldmine. The very amazing thing it starts with and hits you straight away is this Goldmine integration panel here. It gives you oh, so much information about Goldmine for each of the emails you actually select. So here we have an email that I've actually highlighted which is Tanya Wood. And I can see um, a lot of information within, directly from within Goldmine. So I can see Total Food Tech is the business that Tanya actually works with. I can see some of the address details. I can see information about, um, uh, about that they actually have, what type of support programs they have, uh, how much prepaid time they have remaining, her email address, phone numbers, etc. Really cool information. Further, I can actually click on that hyperlink and actually will take me directly to to Goldmine, which is even better. So from here, I actually see information around her record. If I go back to Outlook, a great way of jumping between the two. So the strategy with how these two systems work is that Goldmine is your contact database. All your contacts, you actually grab the email address and details from within Goldmine. Goldmine is your master customer database. Outlook, however, is your main email detail, email database. Alright, so you actually use Goldmine for your contacts and Outlook for your email. So from here, I can see with this particular email here, I actually have these tick boxes if you can notice. Okay, these tick boxes represent that these emails have actually been linked and stored inside Goldmine. So let's have a quick look. So if I go from my email here, I click on the actual uh, hyperlink to Tanya's record, I can go to the history tab and here you'll see a couple of emails, but there's that uh, email in. There's that email in, Goldmine Outlook Integration, sure thing, hope you have a great day. So there's just an email I sent to Tanya just to say, hey look, can you shoot this one back for this particular presentation? But I can see it's actually stored inside Goldmine. That email is this email here. Now nicely, if I wanted to actually say, look, I don't want that email to be linked, I can actually just turn that option off. Now I go back to her record. And you see that email in has now actually disappeared. It's actually totally removed. All right, so a great way that I can control what data I actually want inside Goldmine, and I can control what emails I want inside Goldmine. So, you know, big things that some people have, well, what about um, uh, emails from family and friends? Hey, look, no problems. If the email address for your family and friends is not inside Goldmine, then the email will not be linked to Goldmine. All right, very simple. And if it's an important email from an accountant or solicitor or from your manager, etc., that you do not want to be linked inside Goldmine, then no problems. You just turn off the link off. Okay. Now, in some respects, we've had questions about, oh, look, I'm the managing director. I don't. I want to be able to opt in for my emails to be inside Goldmine. I don't want every email to automatically be linked. I want to be able to choose, and that's fine. You actually just go to you uh, to Goldmine. You set up the Goldmine integration go to uh, options and here you can choose whether you want to enable the auto linking or not. Very very easy. There's all sorts of other options here which help control all sorts of other bits and pieces which I won't bore you with today but uh, look is very flexible, very very powerful which is what I really like and the best thing about it is it actually shows you information from your customer database system, your online goldmine system to with it from directly within Outlook. All right. Most CRM systems don't do that. They will actually just show you that there's been a link for the email to the record, but it doesn't actually show you some of the information about your customer, um, like you know, showing you what opportunities you have, what cases might be outstanding, what notes you might have actually logged for that particular um, that business. Okay, you've got information. The two are talking to each other, which is really really cool. The same thing happens with your send items. So if you go to send items, you can actually see that we actually have send items actually being sent and they're actually being linked as well. So another great way of being able to display that information. As emails are coming in, this particular one here, it's automatically linked again and it's linked to actually companion link which has been great and saves me having to link it each time. Okay, another nice thing, if I actually give myself a little bit more room, we see we've added this, this column here. This column is actually showing me that it was actually total food tech. Um, which actually has that data. So let me see if I make this a little bigger. Oops. So there's the actual business name. So it's showing me actually who's actually been linked into uh, what what business this email has actually been linked to. I normally like to see that because I like to see some like customer information from my Goldmine integration. Uh, further, there's also other bits and pieces around uh, integrating your calendar between the two. So you're going to use Outlook as your primary calendar, but still add the appointments directly inside uh, inside Goldmine as well. I won't go through that today. The main focus here is the actual email integration, and you can see how quickly and easy it is. Uh, as I say, when you're sending emails, 
And the nice thing here, bring up the email integration, it's saying link to, use the auto linking settings, which is great. Uh, I can link the email to a new case, opportunity or project, and I can also use a template. So if I wanted to use a particular template we've already got, these email templates are directly inside Goldmine, and there's a great way of being able to uh, use your Goldmine uh, email templates and use them from within Outlook. Okay, you can't do that in Outlook. Outlook's so much harder to do that. Here, I can actually bring up the details unless you find Tanya's um, address record. Now, the other question people have is, yeah, but that's all good, but I've got the frustration where I've got my contacts in Goldmine. Do I have to now turn around and enter my email addresses and names inside Outlook so I can actually have access to the two? The answer is no. Okay, what we do is within Outlook, we actually add the Goldmine address book inside Outlook. What that means is that any contacts you add to Goldmine will therefore be available inside Outlook. Okay, the only thing you might have to do sometimes, if I do a search for Trevor, I don't think I have too many Trevors in a database, if I do an Alt-K now, so I type in the person's name, do an Alt-K, it actually goes back into the database find inside Goldmine, finds all matching Trevors and displays them for me. How cool is that? All right, no double entering of email addresses into the two systems. You add it to Goldmine, it's available directly inside Outlook. All right, so look, I hope that answers your questions. Uh, otherwise, give us a call uh, on in, directly within 3Cubed on uh, plus 617-3038-1000. That's plus 617-3038-1000. Or send me an email to rguthrie. It's R-G-U-T-H-R-I-E at 3Cubed. That's the number 3 cubed c-u-b-e-d dot com dot au look forward to speaking to you soon guys and uh, happy gold mining